everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back at it again working here in the fallout shelter. As of yesterday, the solar electric system here is functioning. I'm going to be doing some more prettying up of it, and I'm going to get the wires going out through the wall, but at the moment, it's functioning yesterday and today. The dehumidifier has been running 100% off solar energy, and that's great. It's taking load off of the house. We have been stealing power from the house to run things out here, uh, so that's saving us money right here, right now, because the house is still on grid power, so having this stuff on its own solar is saving us money right now. And once we tr uh, transition the house over to solar, you know, ho hopefully within the next uh, week or so, it's going to uh, you know, be a benefit then as well because uh, it was one less thing running off of the house's uh, solar panels, so you know, there's less of a chance that we're going to be running low on power over there with the batteries if we can get this stuff on its own system. So good, good, good all around. What's happening today? Uh, River is helping today. He's putting uh, these uh, pads down. Uh, these are the kind of pads that you would use at like a, like a home exercise uh, environment. They're three quarter inch foam pads and the reason I chose to put them in here is a couple uh, reasons. One is I wanted to uh, you know have uh, like a softer floor so if we ever were going to use this as a fallout shelter it's just it's a little bit more comfortable to have a softer floor. They also act as insulation uh, so there's a benefit there. Uh, and on top of that uh, there's a lot of echo in this room uh, still. Uh, it, you know, it's no big deal if it's just a root cellar, but if it ever needed to be used as a fallout shelter, you know, the echo is a little bit grating, and having foam uh, and absorbing uh, surfaces can help to make, you know, there be le less echo in here. So all around kind of uh, beneficial. Uh, and I chose the color blue because it's kind of cheery. It's a little bit of outside here on the inside. What am I working on today? What I'm working on today is the sink. We've got a bathroom sink, just a, kind of your classic bathroom sink that hooks onto the wall. I bought it at a thrift store, not a thrift store, like a salvage store for, I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, and it was, it actually has a, a printing on the back said it was, it was cast in 1985. And uh, at least all the old sinks that I always buy, the way that they attach to the walls, they get kind of like this uh, hook on the back. There's like, a, like a, a long bar hook. And you make a bracket kind of like this. These are 45 degree angles here. And the hook just goes right in here. And this is what supports the weight of the sink. And then you take a couple of screws uh, at the bottom, keep it from kind of jiggling off. Uh, so this is going to go right on the wall, but not directly. Uh, before I put this on the wall, I'm going to be putting a couple of pressure treated boards on the wall. That'll allow me to really lag it in uh, really firmly. These are really strong boards. That's just a piece of plywood. And uh, on top of that, I want to have a little bit of airflow in the back. Like I said, I'm running a dehumidifier in here. Sometimes it gets a little bit damp. We're trying to avoid that. But uh, what you don't want is you don't want a cool, damp wall and then a piece of wood, especially uh, this is uh, just uh, plywood, right up against that because you can get moisture trapped in there and it could start molding up and you know, becoming a mildew problem and that's not good for anybody. So uh, having these on the wall, there'll be a little bit of an air space there. These are pressure treated so they're not going to rot. So that is what I'm working on today and so far it's, things are really feeling good. You know, I, I've finished a lot of projects in here that have general benefit. The sink, arguably, that's just a fallout shelter thing, but um, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on it because it is a, a, just a sink from a salvage yard. So, Things continue to move forward, and we're going just a little bit at a time. One other thing I wanted to mention about these pads, uh, River, it looks like you're kind of getting to the end of what you can easily you accomplish. Can yeah, yeah, at least until I move this camera. Uh, we are going to have to cut some of these pads to go around the, uh, the bunk shelves, and even underneath these shelves here, we're not going to take, take these guys and lift them up and then put them down on top of the pads. It wouldn't be a very firm surface if you had these guys on top of foam pads. So what we're going to be doing is cutting out little holes where the feet are going to go, so the, the shelves are still going to be on the rock solid concrete floor and we're going to have the uh, the pads flow around them. It's a little bit more work but it's a lot more stable for these shelves. That's it. Thanks for watching.